morning from Marrakesh. My name is Ivana and today I think we're going to Asaura, otherwise Agadir. Maybe we're staying one day in Marrakesh. We'll see. Let life take you where you're supposed to be. Before we go anywhere, I'm having a breakfast of, that's right, oatmeal with water, Spartan way, and a banana because I've been eating way too much bread and my stomach is so upset. But I don't mind because I actually do like oatmeal as a breakfast. Mm. There's a bus leaving to Esauera in one hour. Of course, I bought a ticket. The ticket was 75 dirham, which is 7 euro 50. The taxi to the train station cost me 50 dirham. So apparently, I wasn't that ripped off the first night that I arrived when I paid 60 dirham in the middle of the night. So, yeah, life really takes care of you when you take a chill pill and let it do its thing. We're going to Esauera. Made it on time to the bus. And I got some paninis for um, for the road because obviously I'm going to get hungry and I know I said it this morning that I don't want to eat any more bread but it was literally the only thing that was vegetarian on the menu and that I wanted to eat. I was not feeling salad. But look at this. I have to show you this. They added fries and ketchup and everything. Okay, they didn't add one portion of fries, no. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. We are on our way, and apparently there is also um, a Moroccan version of ISD, ICT, Indian, Indian stretchable time. We have the Moroccan stretchable time. <laughs> MST. We were supposed to leave at 2:30, uh, and uh, I think eventually we left at 3:15. But they were fixing the echo, uh, but the echo is still not working. <laughs> I actually love this. It just makes traveling so much more interesting. And you guys know I really do not mind traveling without air conditioning. I love the heat. It's just that I was dressed for air conditioning, so I'm currently melting. But I'm okay with that. Better than wheezing. Made it to Esauera! And I'm just gonna give you a little room tour. So today, uh, we actually have this lovely, jovely room. Uh, it's also in a, well, in a hotel slash riyadh. And there's a window over here but it's actually facing the hotel lobby. And there's a bed upstairs too. <laughs> Usually it's for kids. Although it looks like fun, really. The bathroom is so nice. You have to see this. Okay. Ta-da! I love it. It's clean. And we're in Esauera, baby! They said I actually uh, should change tomorrow to another room which has windows facing the outside but this room has Wi-Fi and she said oh the other room probably won't have Wi-Fi I can't you know in the app that I use for booking I can't send a note to the property where I'm making the reservation because usually I say like I need Wi-Fi to be able to work and she said like the other person who is staying here tomorrow he stated that uh, explicitly in his uh, booking I said like seriously, whatever I have to do, I, if I have to give up windows to have Wi-Fi, I will do it. I need a room with Wi-Fi to, you know, be able to constantly upload for you guys. I really hate not being able to upload and in my two years of making travel vlogs, I think there was maybe like one or two times that I wasn't able to upload. And in general, if I don't upload, it's because... Um, well, either if I'm really, really tired, but that also like almost never happens. Maybe like five times or something with a travel vlog. I'm not talking about the other vlogs, but okay. And Esoera looks really, really nice. So uh, I don't know what should we do. Should we go outside, look for food? I think so. By the way, this is the hallway of the hotel slash Riyadh. Loving those lamps, man. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so cute. First impression of Esauera. This is the Medina. 
Looks so cute, man. Like an old town. I'm just gonna walk around and see where how we can eat something. <laughs> Somebody said on Snapchat, your head is shinier than my future. That's true. <laughs> it happens when I'm in hot weather. My head gets so shiny. <sighs> this is so cute, man. Wait, wait, wait. You have to see this. Look at all the cute lanterns and everything. <gasps> Loving this place. What can we eat? We need some food in the belly. Oh, I literally found the cutest restaurant ever in a back alley. Look at this, like three tables and the kitchen is over there. You can literally see how the food is cooked. This is so cute. We are going to start off with an eggplant salad. I haven't had this before and I love eggplant. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Oh my gosh. It's warm. Warm salads. You got my heart. It's delicious. <laughs> Thanks. Bon appétit. Merci. <laughs> and the big bowl of harira. Oh, I love this soup so much. Mm. <clears throat> Freshly made. So good. Literally just from the stove. The life, man, I tell you. The final thing I ordered, brewat. I have no idea what this is, and that's exactly why I wanted to try it. Mm, this is so good. Mm. It's vegetables fried in some kind of batter, but it's mixed vegetables. It's not just one. It's delicious. This restaurant owner is the cutest ever with his wife, Hamid El Rashida. Um, also the one in Tonga where I ate the first date, it was also really awesome, but this is a really, really cute, like I have to show you what it's called. Restaurant, what is it called? Agro. <laughs> Thank you. That was Hamid walking past I So this one in Asara, go there. They are too adorable. You have to eat there. Back in the room, I'm just gonna take a shower, work a little bit, and then tomorrow we can explore Esoera. I'm so happy to be here. We'll be staying here for five days. Finally back at the ocean. So if you would like to see more, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.